put potato peelings in a bag and hang them on the radiator. When you peel potatoes, you treat the peelings as waste. But that's a mistake. They are too valuable to throw away. Collect them in a container. In your spare time, transfer them to a breathable bag. You can use an old laundry bag, tie a string to it, hang the bag on the radiator. This is where the peelings will dry. Potato peelings contain a lot of potassium, iron, magnesium, and calcium. Every few days, move the bag so that the peelings dry evenly. When they are dry, transfer them to a jar. I'll use them at the right time. Remember that in addition to minerals, peelings also contain B-group vitamins. When I need to use them, I pour boiling water over them in a ratio of 1 to 10. Use 1 liter of boiling water for 100 grams of peelings. When the water cools down, strain the peelings through a sieve. Now you can discard them. I water raspberries with water from the peelings, in spring especially. They produce more flowers and fruit more abundantly, but fertilizer from potato peelings is also suitable for strawberries, currants, and gooseberries. I prepare the peelings in winter so that I can make as much fertilizer as needed in spring. Cover your plants with stockings. You'll save your plants. Look for old stockings or tights. If they're torn, don't throw them away anymore. Use them for your plants. If you have potted plants at home, you surely take care of them and nurture them. Household members and guests probably admire them. Even small children are interested in them. If you have a cat at home, you take special care of the plants. Cats love flower pots and the soil in them. When you have plants at home, you can avoid many problems and troubles thanks to stockings or tights. The flowers will be healthy and you'll be able to take care of them and nurture them calmly. Take old tights. Even if they're torn, it doesn't matter. Place them on the plant. Measure the height. Take scissors and cut an appropriate piece of stocking. Put it on the flower pot. Do it from the bottom. A well-placed stocking should cover the soil. This will provide protection to the roots. Now, children or cats won't play with the soil in the flower pot. Such a cover will also ensure greater tidiness. Animals or children won't spill the soil from the flower pot anymore. You'll turn him into the best fertilizer for orchids. Crush the dried piece and pour hot water over it. Use this tea to water your flowers regularly once a month. It will revitalize every orchid. Buds and blooms will multiply like never before. You won't recognize your orchids. Their flowers will be even more beautiful all thanks to dried banana peels. After eating bananas, don't throw away their peels. Just lay them out to dry on the radiator. You can also use the preheated oven after baking or cooking dinner. This fruit will make your orchids a picture of health, their roots will be nourished, and the leaves beautifully green. This fertilizer is the simplest way to fertilize orchids. It's a vital source of essential minerals like potassium, phosphorus, and calcium. It will save every orchid, Simply divide the dried banana peels into smaller pieces. Pour hot water over a portion of dried banana peels. Close the container. After brewing, let the infusion cool. Use this banana tea to water your orchids. It's a natural remedy that orchids adore. It's full of trace elements that orchids need. They will bloom beautifully all year round. Sprinkle a handful over the orchid. This fertilizer will make it bloom abundantly. You can have beautifully flowering orchids at home if you provide them with the right supplements. I'll show you how to feed orchids. With this fertilizer, they will produce many new buds, be healthy and robust. New flower stems will appear, even on old stems. You'll learn two methods that I use to fertilize orchids with one product. Here's the first method. Pour about a cup of rice into a pan and turn on the stove. Heat it in a dry pan for about three minutes. It should be lightly toasted, but not burned. When it cools a bit, transfer the rice to a blender. Grind the rice grains. Transfer the rice flour to a jar. You can store it this way and take the right amount for orchid fertilization. I take a tablespoon of ground rice and pour it into a bowl. Then I pour boiling water over it, mix and leave it to cool. During this time, the water will absorb many minerals from the rice. You can also use ground rice with cold water. Pour water into a glass with a teaspoon of ground rice. Leave it for some time to let the water absorb the most valuable elements from the rice. 
You can water orchids with this water. Thanks to this fertilizer, the orchid strengthens. You can give at least five tablespoons to each pot. It's enough to do this once a month. The second method is traditional, using raw rice. Pour water over the rice and let it stand. You can use warm or cold water in this method. In the case of cold water, always leave the rice in the water for a longer time. Use this fertilizer regularly, especially when orchids have flower buds. This way, you'll have beautiful flowers. Just one teaspoon of this spice is enough for orchids to be covered in flowers. This trick is used by orchid growers. Thanks to it, their flowers bloom all year round. Yellow leaves and withered stems may be a sign of serious fungi. It turns out that garlic is the secret ingredient that works great as a fertilizer for orchids. It contains many minerals such as phosphorus, iron, and potassium. It also has antifungal and antibacterial properties, acting as a protective shield against insects and mites. Take three cloves of garlic and crush them. Then, pour a liter of water and leave it overnight. The next day, pour the mixture into the flower pot. After 30 minutes, pour off the excess fertilizer. Garlic water can also be poured into a sprayer and used to mist the leaves. The scent of garlic and its antifungal properties protect the plant from diseases and pests. For busy individuals, there's also a simple recipe with granulated garlic. Just add a teaspoon of the spice to a liter of water, then mix the solution and water your plants with it. And that's it. Garlic infusions serve not only as protection, but also support growth and blooming. Garlic acts as a nourishing agent. It contains active substances and nutrients. Simply fertilize the orchids with it at least once every two weeks to make them bloom again. It's the only fertilizer I use for my orchids. They literally bend under the weight of the flowers. This fertilizer is for free. Simply water your orchids with it to encourage the growth of new leaves. Orchids are very temperamental plants, and many people struggle with their care. If you want to see new leaves, make sure to provide proper nutrition for your orchid. To prepare this fertilizer, you only need one ingredient. Put rice into a jar and pour warm water over it. Wait a few hours until the water becomes cloudy. This suspension is rich in silicon, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, potassium, and vitamins. Use it to water your orchid and nourish its roots and stems. You can also use cooled water from cooked rice. This fertilizer is like a vitamin bomb and also has a hydrating effect. Repeat the process every two or three weeks. You will quickly notice that the plant starts to produce new shoots. Rice water alters the soil's acidity and protects against diseases. You can also use it to water other potted plants. 